Hi guys, we have another video. I'm going to make a quick and easy card showing this new release from Kitchen Sink Stamps. We are going to incorporate the Hawaiian greetings, summer splashes, and we're going to be doing some foiling. So let's start with the foiling. We have our mink already nice and hot on setting three. And this is part of the new release. It's one of the backgrounds that you can foil. We're gonna do a little magic dusty dusty on there and we're gonna dust the back of our foil. I am using this blue cracked ice from H&H. On there, I got a little overhang here but I'm not gonna worry about it. I need a folder. Okay, let's put that through. While that is foiling, we are going to stamp out the beach ball. Okay, so let me grab my mini Misty here. And we are going to start with 1A, so. My mini Misty has a little piece of sticky grid inside there. So this ball is not perfectly round, so we need to make sure that we put it on in the correct spot. So it looks like there's a little spot here that goes down. I don't think it really matters, honestly. And since it is our most solid area, I'm gonna do it in a very light, light, light gray. So, we're going to start with limestone from Altenew. And this is my first time stamping, so I'm gonna use some Versamark to ink up the stamp to make sure that it accepts limestone okay so we have the basic lines down for our beach ball okay Layer two is going to be the shadow layer, which is gonna go along the bottom here. There are two little line marks there, so I wanna line up those lines with what's already stamped on the beach ball. Okay, we're gonna go in with the next darkest color gray, which is silver stone. And the third and final layer for the shadow is just again going to line up against the, there's a little notch and a little notch there that line up against the lines that are already there in the beach ball. And we're going to use industrial diamond for that one. Okay, so those are our shadow layers of our ball. Now we want to add the color back into the ball. So there is this one, which is the primary color. Go down the center there, and I think we'll do that one in red. Let's do that one in crimson. We'll burst the mark first. And I'm going to 
stamp that one more time just to make it a little more solid. Okay, that looks great. And then we need to add the other two side pieces. And yes, that little highlight is supposed to be there. Okay, so we have this little piece here. Goes like that. And we have another little piece here. So there's a little rounded cutout which goes up against that circle. All right. I think we're okay. Scooch that in. And we'll do one in yellow and one in blue. So we'll have one in fresh lemon. a boy from Catherine Poehler. Might need to go a little darker with that one. Let's try it. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. I am going to stamp them again just to give them a little bit more solid color. I'm going to go in with the darker blue. I'm going to go in with something borrowed for the, the, the other blue. Okay, perfect. So now I have a pretty simple idea for putting this card together. Let's pull our beach ball up. Oh, I do want to do a sentiment, so let's do that real quick. And the sentiment is relax. Yes, let's relax. And that comes off of the Hawaiian greetings, relax. Who doesn't go to a pool and relax? Have a little drink to sip on. Enjoy the cool water with the warm sun. In a few months, we're all going to be wanting that. I'm going to stamp that in that same something borrowed. Oh, it's stuck to my stamp instead of my sticky grid. That happens sometimes. Stay. That's because we're using a new stamp. So I'm going to ink this with a little burst mark quick. Okay. Now it shouldn't be as sticky. There we go. Okay, I'm going to use that same something borrowed. Relax. Enjoy. Have a good time. Perfect. So now we're just going to put everything together. My card base here. I have my foiled background all done. It's been cooling off. So cool. Very nice. I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter by four. It's a little crooked. Why is it crooked? Because I can't cut anything straight. It's really crooked. Close enough. Okay. I'm going to glue our background down.
since I had so much fun with the action wobbler on the last card, I'm going to put one on this card. Because who doesn't love an action wobble card? heavy plastic part the thick plastic part goes on the the uh, item you want to wobble okay and then the thin clear plastic the tape goes on your actual card Okay, and then we have our little greeting. Let's use some art glitter glue to put that right there. Relax. Isn't that fun? So quick and easy using that new splash foiled background from Kitchen Sink Stamps and the uh, Summer Splashes collection comes with the flip-flops and the beach ball. The flip-flops I showed in the last video. I also did an action wobbler on that. And then the sentiments came from the Hawaiian Greetings mini set. All right. So there you go. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I will link everything I use down in the description. Let me know, are you going to miss the pool this winter when we have all that snow on the ground? Because you guys know, ugh, we've had a really hot summer and I'm afraid we're going to have a really cold winter like we did last year. Lots of snow. All right, so there we go. Go check it out. I'll put the link down below for you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. Keep on stamping. Bye-bye.